Welcome back to the Keeping It Real with KC podcast. I, of course, am your host, KC Phoenix. I had to turn on my Do Not Disturb. That's why I'm doing this on the phone right now. Okay, so <laughs> before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right. So, I'm going back to basics. I have decks that I have not used in a while. So, I'm switching things up a little bit and using some of those old decks. What I'm doing. One of those decks I haven't done in a while is Postcards from Spirit. So, I did the pre-shuffle. And a card came out. It didn't want to go back in the deck. So, I set it to the side and I plan on taking another card. I will clarify those cards because it's like, okay, why did these cards come out? So I plan on clarifying those cards with the regular tarot deck. All right. Now, to, we're already in the full moon in Gemini right now because it's, it's, it started, what, on the 7th or the 6th, goes until tomorrow. That energy might have people in their head right now. So be careful with any negative self-talk. For some reason, for the last 24 hours, I have been really, really giddy. (laughs) So I don't know what that's about as related to the full moon of Gemini because I don't see Gemini as a giddy sign. (laughs) But whatever. I've been giddy for like the last 24 hours. All good. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just persistent here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. All the December readings are up for all of the signs. The general, the love, and the money readings are up as well as other collective readings. Speaking of the collective, may I have the energy for the collective? May I have the energy for the collective? May I have the energy for the collective? What is it? that the collective needs to hear. What is it that the collective needs to hear? This is so random. (laughs) Okay. I don't know how to say this, so I'm just going to say it. There's this show on Hulu, and some of you know I've talked about it. Um, Welcome to Chippendales. And the show is so hilarious, it's funny, and it's really good, too. But for whatever reason, while I was doing this, doing the, you know, the split and everything of the deck, the Chippendales thing started playing through my head. I kid you not. Somebody might be thinking about going into dancing. Exotic dancing. (laughs) So I'm just throwing that out there. And you know what? It's an honest living. Who am I to judge? But someone might be thinking about going into exotic dancing. Just throwing that out there because I don't see how that is going through my head while I'm doing this and splitting the deck. Like, so, yeah. But, like I said, Honest Living, I actually know some dancers. And they made decent money. Some um, people that I know, like a few girls that I know, they only did it on the weekend. Is what they did. They um, do weekends and then, you know, make like $1,000 and then that was it. That was just like their extra money. So... Yep. All right. May I have a card, please, for the collective? Thank you. Let's see if I can get to it. There we go. All right. So, I will read this card, and then after that, I will read the card that I had set to the the side during the pre-shuffle. And the lighting... Where's my phone? My other phone at? Give me a second. Because I... I need lighting. Like, I have good eyes. I just have to have good lighting. All right. It says, and this is what I'm reading. It says, Dearest you, over over here, there is no mystery for us to unravel, as we know intimately how connected we all are, how the web of creation works, and how spirit is in every aspect of life, from the invisible to the visible. But it's impossible for humans to comprehend the complexities of how things actually work because the most important threads in the tapestry don't make sense in the dimension you live in. 
That said, can you feel the importance of these currents of energy that bring events together in miraculous ways? You can't understand with your mind, but you can know with your heart and soul. Trust that even though you don't know the how, the what, or the why, we do surrender to the mystery and have faith that the unseen world is watching you with loving eyes as spirit weaves your life's mysteries and beautiful tapestry in glorious technicolor. Loving you so much as always. So that is the first card. All right, and let me read the second one and then we'll start clarifying. So the second postcard from Spirit says, Dearest you, A rigid tree branch breaks under strong winds, yet flexible seaweed survives powerful ocean swells. Right now, we gently remind you that being flexible is a good choice when faced with life's challenges. Surrender your fixed ideas to spirit who knows what is in your highest good and can deliver you what you need in the appropriate form. In this moment, rather than fighting or being too sure of your way working out, be a little looser and allow for another outcome. Compromise can be the best way forward if you are to learn new ways of doing and seeing. Stay aware, curious, and teachable. Take life on life's terms. Your purpose may push you in a direction not on your map. Let it. Be so flexible that no storm can uproot you. In the end, you will still be rooted in the world, in abundance, and you will indeed experience the beauty that is yours. We love you so much. And that is the second postcard from Spirit. So this is talking about flexibility. So for some of you, there's this unseen. It's kind of interesting how the title of the other reading yesterday, the collective reading, was Unseen Celebration. But this is talking about um, unseen mysteries, is what um, this is talking about. And also about having faith that everything will work out and that you can't always see what's happening behind the scenes because you're in the 3D. You're stuck in this world. You can't see what's going on in the spirit world. Only they can see that. (laughs) So, yeah. And sometimes you have to have faith that it will work out. Also, and this does sort of connect to the other card where it's saying because of that faith of what's going on in the spirit world, because you may have something in your mind where you're like, okay, I can't see this. I can't process this. Why is this happening this way? But something is going on in the spirit world. With the second card, the second card is saying, okay, You might want to be flexible. That goes back to what the spirit world is doing. Because if they're saying, if you're like, okay, I need this. And the spirit world is like, well, no, this would probably be better. They're sending you something else, but you're still focused on what you think you need. And the spirit world is like, no, 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 trust us. This is going to be better. But you can't process it in your mind. This is saying with the second card that you have to be flexible so you can receive what the spirit world is looking to give you, what the divine is looking to give you, what God, whatever you want to call your higher power, whatever it's looking to give you, you have to be flexible so you can receive it because it may not be, you know, in point A, it may end up being in point C somewhere. And you have to be able, when you're driving, it's like, okay, you know how when um, you have like OnStar or whatever you use, when you put the address in and you're going somewhere. And if you miss the turn or whatever, it says rerouting, which kind of gets annoying sometimes. (laughs) But yeah, it says rerouting. Take turn here instead. That's kind of like what it is. Where you have your mind on something, but the universe is like, okay, this is going to be so much better for you. We need to reroute you. And that's where and that's where the signs are coming in. Rerouting, rerouting, rerouting. And you have to be flexible to pay attention to those signs, take heed to them, and follow the signs so you can get to point C or whatever it is so you can get whatever the universe is trying to give you. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Let's clarify some of this as well. Because some of you, 
I honestly feel, because Five of Pentacles was at the bottom of the deck when I took it out of the box. And I feel some of you may have been losing hope or you might be losing hope on something. But I'm telling you now, the universe is very good at surprising people. And the Tower card came out during the pre-shuffle too. So also the Nine of Pentacles came out during the pre-shuffle. So yeah, may I have the energy for the collective. May I have the energy for the collective. May I have the energy for the collective? Can we clarify the energy on the table? Can we clarify the energy on the table? Can we clarify the energy? Something told me to take this card, set it to the side, on the table. Yeah, bottom of the deck is hangman. That's why it's hard to see with the lighting, but here we go. I have to turn it this way so you can see it. Um, bottom of the deck is hangman. I honestly feel some of you are losing hope because you feel stuck. That's the train in the background. Some of you feel stuck. I guess that's the confirmation where you're like, okay, nothing's moving. And that's going back to what the card um, was saying is that the, they're aware of everything that's going on behind the scenes. You're not aware of it because you can't see it. You, your mind can't process it because you're in the 3D. You can um, feel certain things, but you don't know the play-by-play. -play. And that's what might be driving some of you crazy because you're like, okay, I'm doing what I can, but I'm stuck. I'm not going anywhere. And also, so, I just heard something totally random. Someone may have a family issue in the sense of you have to do everything for the family. Because I was thinking about sacrifice and there's something about taking care of family popped into my head. Whatever. But again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. So maybe that's something where you're trying to do your thing and live your life. But because of those obligations, you may feel like you're stuck. Don't worry about it. It's only for a while. Just don't dig too much into it. But also... This time is to give you enlightenment too, because that's what the hang card is a hangman card is about. Thank you. I was thinking about the four of pentacles. I was about to mention that earlier, but I didn't say anything. Four of pentacles came out because when I was talking about the nine of pentacles and the five of pentacles, I was gonna tell you um nine minus five is four. So it's kind of like, and then you know, here's the four of pentacles. So with the four of pentacles, this can be about foundation. It can also be about holding back, holding on to something. For some of you, you're still holding on to whatever this thing is that you think it is that you need. And not saying that you won't get it. I just feel like there may be a missing step or there may just be something where you're going to catapult, you're going to um, leapfrog over the step where it's like, okay, you know what? The universe is saying you don't need this part. Just go, you know, pass, go, collect your $200 and move on to the next thing. But you're holding on to whatever this is. Now, the card that followed it is the Ten of Wands. And also, Pentacles is Earth Energy, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Wands is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You're holding on to this with this Four of Pentacles. But what you don't realize is that this cycle is pretty much over. Whatever it is, you don't need it right now. And maybe you don't need it at all. The universe knows better than me. And also you probably would too. But whatever you're holding on to, it's a burden. It's a lot of weight. Because 10 is like the heaviest of the heaviest. And I feel you're going to have to let this go. Is what you will have to do. Let me... Something else right quick. Thank you. Two more cards. Lots of the both cards. Okay, so this is the second time this has happened. Two cards came out at the same time. Wow, that's really good energy. And this is why, and it's confirming what I said. This is why you need to let it go. Because the two cards that came out together is the Ace of Wands and the Sun. Again, with this Ten of Wands, this is ending. 
or is something that needs to end. You can't hold on to this. Because if you're holding on to this and you're not being flexible, you're missing out on this. You're missing out on the new beginning with the Ace of Wands. You're missing out on the sun, which is Leo energy. The sun is about happiness. And mind you, the sun has been coming out a lot lately. If you've been watching my readings, you've noticed the sun card has been coming out a lot. So, and that's what I always tell people. When you watch tarot readings of different people, pay attention to the cards that come out because usually the energy is the same. You can have the same energy across the board and have different messages across the board too with the same energy. So keep that in mind too. But the sun is here. Ace of Wands is here. But you're holding on to something. You're not being flexible. You're being rigid. You're like, oh, it has to go this way. It can't go any other way. It's almost like, let me give you an example. You're saying if you need to go to the airport and you're like, well, the only car I'll ride in is a Mustang. I I won't ride in any. The reason I'm saying it is because I love Mustangs. Mustangs is one of my favorite sports cars. But it's like the only car that I um, will ride in is a Mustang. I will not go to the airport in any other car. Really? All you need is a car to get to the airport to get on the plane to take off. The only thing you're going to go in is a Mustang. Make it make sense. This is kind of sort of the situation. With what I'm talking about. You're saying that the only way you're going to get to this point is by taking this particular route or this particular type of transportation. But the universe is saying, no, I want you to take a different type of transportation and I want you to take a different route. But I'm going to get you to the same place you're getting to. That's what it's saying. But you have to let go (laughs) and be flexible so I can get you there. So I can give you the Ace of Wands and the Sun. (laughs) That's what it's saying. All right. So that is your message. K-I-R-W-K-C dot com. Main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. K-I-R-W-K-C on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.